that body. This is Jonathan and this video I'm going to show you guys how to solve for blue skin or death on React OS. So for blue skin or death is an error message that you can see normally on Windows. So Windows displays the error because there's a problem with the hardware. It could be a software issue such as viruses and thirdly it could be because of um of you doing something to the operating system such as deleting system 32 which you guys should never do but I know it was a popular meme at the time but anyway um, in this video I'm going to solve I'm going to show you guys how to solve for blue skill death in react OS and let's get started right now so what you guys will need to do is read the error message because there's many different reasons why a blue skill death may show and my error message is config installation failed so obviously it failed with uh, um, trying to boot up with the installation failed config installation failed if this is the first time we're seeing this stop error screen we start with computer and this screen appears again follow these steps so what I would do firstly is I'm going to restart this machine and if it shows up again then there's something else I need to do do bear in mind this isn't a stable um, operating system it is still in development so I might need to completely reinstall it as you guys would need to as well so go to react OS and now it should be able to boot and it doesn't boot so we're going to have to read what else we can do um, so how do I boot up to save mode that's my question press F8 to select advanced setup options and then select save mode ok go to machine reset reset and now what we're going to do is boot up to save mode and what save mode allows us to do is go to um, an operating system with um, a few things running for background um, and now select the um, save mode and that should basically allow us to boot up to save mode right um, hold on let me try this again it normally does work on Windows so you can just boot up to save mode um, if it is a software issue F8 uh, let me go for the save mode with networking um, with command line I'm going to go with uh, um, with networking and now I'm going to boot up to the React OS and it does seem like I'm still having a few issues trying to boot up to save mode ok what I would do right now is I'm going to go to the internet and search up for um, because this is what most of us in IT do is search up everything on the internet uh, because there's thousands of errors that exist and we won't be able to remember them all so I'm going to go to config installation failed React OS and that should basically start to help me if I do find for this for the help I don't see it here um, is that one it? Um, the procedure we tried to here to attempt to install React OS here doesn't work because the graphical version of the installation doesn't exist yet. Um, okay, I will try that, and it's a good to announce it. Uh, it is count on more compiler. Okay, that's not it. Uh, okay. So I do think it went wrong with the installation. Maybe I did something wrong because it does say config installation failed. So when I installed the operating system, at first it was working. But once I try to boot up back to it, I saw this blue skill death. Um, so maybe I did something while doing for installation. Uh, make sure BIOS is configured to boot up from CD1 first. Um, okay, installation. Um, okay, what I will do now is I'm going to enter the installation. But I think for the reason why it shows up the screen of death, blue skill death. Is because um, I have a corrupted system which a corrupted system if there's any corrupted files within the operating system then that means it's normally not fixable but if it's something like malware or viruses they'll be able to boot up to a safe mode and it would be able to remove the, um, the virus but obviously if it shows up a blue skill dev because about a config installation failed then I do believe by the installation failed with a config maybe I failed to um, do an installation like maybe I messed up on some parts of it um, so what I would do is I'm going to try again to boot up to safe mode and if safe mode doesn't work then I can con then I can say that it is truly corrupted because normally when you when you have a virus or a malware on it or if it's um, a software issue then it would be able to uh, boot up to safe mode 
um, but not all of her time, especially if it's um, completely corrupted. Um, but this is um, it's, this is not stable. It is still in alpha, so ex issues like this are to be expected. Um, so what I will do is reset. I'm going to go through the installation again and see if that fixes a problem. I'm going to go for United Kingdom. Press Enter to install. Press Enter to go, and then I would. Um, I would press on you to upgrade for installation and now setup is checking your disk so that may take a while please wait hold on should be fast for this but yeah I don't know why I'm having some blue screens of death on my operating system I haven't really done much with it <laughs> all I did was try to reboot and play like a video on it um, press enter to install upgrade react os wait I should press on r shouldn't I because that will repair it right if I press on r then that should repair it so um, let me read through this united kingdom because I like that language this part of a setup copies a React OS operating system to a computer and prepares for a second part of a, of a setup. Press Enter to install or upgrade React OS. Press R to repair React and React OS installation. Press L to view. Press F3. I think what R will do is just create a command line like this and now we'll be able to uh, um, exit. Right? If I wanted to exit, then I can write down exit and that should just exit because you don't need to have a command line. So the best thing I can do right now is because I can't reboot up to safe mode, so I would have to reinstall the operating system. Um, let's enter again. I could upgrade for selected OS installation. Um, press without installing React OS. Press escape of a new installation. Press escape so that we can reinstall it. Um, look at all this. ACPI PC unit press. Do I go for that? I would personally, oh my gosh, you can't read the original Xbox. Me. I'm going to go for a standard PC uniprocessor. Maybe that might fix the problem. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go with the default. Um, I'm going to accept these devices. And now this is where I'll be able to set up for petitions. I will just select it. We can have it as a FAT file system or BTFRF. Um, I tried out FAT before, and that was when I was having issues. So maybe I can try to install that one a lot better, but I'm not going to do like quick format. I'm going to do a slower format um, because that should basically solve a problem for me. Let's enter again and now setup is copying files. So this only takes a very few seconds. It's a very small operating system. Setup's up there and uh, okay, setup is installing the bootloader. So what I would do is um, have it for master boot record because it is not running on a special thing. Okay, let's see if it does actually boot up. Um, and hopefully it does. React OS. And yes, it does seem like it's booting up, hopefully. Once it finishes installing drivers. Um, next, next, next. I'm going to say my name is Omenar. Password. You can set up a password if you wanted to. Um, which, which, one, which one should I go for? Maybe this one. That one looks cool. Looks like Windows Visa and that one really did suck. <laughs> Nobody liked it. I'm going to go for Windows 7 for now. Uh, now it's going to start with all that. Finish. And now that should be able to reboot it for system right. React OS and hopefully it does boot up. And yes, it does boot up. Okay, that's good to good. Okay, so what I will do is I'm going to shut down normally because I don't know what has corrupted the last system. Maybe it was doing something in the background and I haven't shut down properly. Um, so I'm going to shut down this way so that way it does shut down properly. Um, and yeah, I should be able to boot up again, right? Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then I don't know. <laughs> There's something wrong with my photo box um, settings then. Yeah, it does boot up like this. As you guys can see, it, it does completely reboot. Um, so no longer have a blue screen of death. Um, so that was pretty nice. It's 
So in this video, um, I would normally go to safe mode and try to fix problems within the safe mode, such as um, undoing the stuff I did previously. Maybe I have installed some malware, maybe I have installed some software, which may not be great for the software. Um, but obviously, um, I couldn't boot up to safe mode, so there was not much I could do. Obviously, I could boot up to command line and do stuff with the NAT, but to be honest, you know, I'm not really a Windows expert, even I should be. Um, but yeah, in this video, I kind of went through some, some, some diagnosis to be able to test out if it does fix a problem or not. But I don't think the command line would have fixed a problem if I couldn't boot up to safe mode because I think it had some form of corrupted files or maybe when I did the installation first it was like a config installation fail thingy so maybe I did the installation wrong but I don't quite know why I had this error but I think it's due to a failed installation that I did maybe I selected some wrong options or something but anyway guys thanks so much for watching this video please like and subscribe and I hope that you guys found this, pop this, um, this video very useful even though all I did was it reinstall React OS um, but that's the only thing we could really do if we can't boot up to safe mode because this operating system is not stable it is still an alpha and because of it still being an alpha um, that means we will encounter issues um, so it's not really used for daily driver because you may encounter these sort of errors um, but tell me down in the description um, what sort of error we've got on your computer it could be Windows, it could be Mac OS and it could be Linux or whatever and I'm happy to help you guys out um, because that's the type of person I am. I like to help people out with their computer issues. It makes me happy. Um, this is why next year probably we're going to go for help desk, but that's only if I do get rejected from uni, um, because help desk is an entry level position. But anyway, apart from my life, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I don't even know why so I'm not a Windows expert, lol. <laughs> I am a Windows expert, I'm a computer expert, like. Like the world's greatest computer expert ever existed. Bye bye.